So if you are into Singapore property investment, there's this YouTuber that I recommend you to follow. Maybe you can build two or three blocks. Eh, not bad. You can still see the reservoir. What if URA decided to increase the plot ratio and allow developer to build the highest building in Singapore and how it will look like? It will look like this. <laughs> but you will still have the reservoir view. So yeah. this view will be there for the penthouse owner. True, true, true. Next, true. let's talk about when. So his name is Eric Chu and he do pretty honest review that's something i i also like to do but i don't have the time lah so and, and that's not my domain so usually youtubers that talks about property they are in, in in that property domain either as property agents and for himself he's a property coach or other people they are doing property seminars and stuff whereas for me right i am a developer uh, uh, um, I, not the kind that developed the house I'm, I'm an app developer for example now right I'm developing this app called the duogram screen which is this thing you see I can move around so this is something that I'm currently working on so if there's an agenda why I, I make videos it's really because I'm testing my app doing vlogs like this so as I take the opportunity to do vlogs I, I want to vlog about things that I'm interested in and property is one but I don't have as much time, so I only vlog every now and then and reacting to certain news, reviewing the properties that I, I know well, for example, in the town that I live in for 30 years, which is Yishun. And Eric has something to say about Yishun. East Coast Park, quite happening. Uh. North side. Uh. Mm. A lot of xiao kia there, so everyone just move out of the xiao kia town, please. <laughs> So, so Eric laughed at Yishun, but, but I can take his joke. Uh, it's, it's a joke, lah, huh? Yishun is famous and infamous for this. But as you can see, he's quite a funny guy. So, so that's something I, I enjoy, I have a laugh over. But you know what else is a joke in Yishun? So in, in my last video, right? Look at this dual key penthouse listing at North Park Residences. Selling for $1.6 million is common for a condo. But when you consider that the size and that per square feet of 2094 if this is sold at this price this will be a record in issue okay so that is a joke so that happened the auction was like you know maybe a two, uh, one week ago two weeks ago so now let's look at the listing it has updated and they have dropped the price to 1.39 million let's say that is a 13 percent discount so sh should you buy as I said, you can always discount the listed price that you that you see everywhere to up to 20%. Okay, going back to Eric Chu. Very nice for us to continue to stay, but one day HDB asked us to move off the house. Let me lower the volume. So so he is a property coach and he made lots of money from property and then now he stayed in bungalow. So I, I watched many of his video and we have Okay, so let me just lower lah. So I think we, we do share a lot of common op opinions about property as an investment. That's why I feel like I must share and recommend his channel. And, and disclaimer, I, I don't know him. I'm not affiliated with him at all. And, and in fact, I just saw his video only today. And he has, he has indeed quite a lot of content on property investment in Singapore. But he said things that I very much agree with while, while I didn't have the time to say. Or I don't even dare to say. So so let me just play a few more videos for you. Let us see this one. This, this is his bungalow in Bukitima. I haven't shown us yet. Oh, Another video. Million. I don't think you can make as much as a three bedder. I may be wrong. I mean, we are just guessing here. I guess that they can sell at about 1.9 million, which is about 150k in pocket about three years from now. The shocking news of PRA. This two big one bath, everyone can only shit in one toilet one. At 9 o'clock, even price that you can make is about 100k. By 6 o'clock, this unit is not sold yet. A lot of people need two toilets. Uh, come on guys, they increased the price by 20,000. 7 o'clock, just one hour later, they increased by 150,000. Still no one buy. Uh. One day later, they sold at 1.5 million. Eh. 
There are two types of Robert. The first Robert is the very rich one, yeah, Robert Kuo. Right. The rest of the Robert is this Robert. <laughs> 1.5 million for a, a two bed, one toilet. Are you okay or not? Oh, this is crazy. Eh. You are totally missing the point of buying property. Eh. Once you bought this, ah, you make everyone become giant Huawei again. Everyone, when you see him, Please give him hamper during Chinese New Year. Please give him ampau when you see him. Because of that, all your prices for PR8 has already increased in value. He is the best. <laughs> okay, so he's talking about Passeries 8. That's a condo that is that has a very good launch. And and he's talking about this Robert here that paid so much for that unit. So so as you can see, yeah, he's very funny with, with his means and stuff. And But it's very true that in property, right, there's always some Robert that will buy that property at super high price. And he's helping others. Lah. Basically, he's helping to, to move the price of, of the estate up. But then for people who are serious into buying, then it will also be terrible because <laughs> you yeah, are making property very hot. Let's watch a few more. Lost profit. You take the selling price two point six seven million minus outstanding loan one point four six million. Dun dun dun. One point two one million guys. Not bad lah. Not bad lah. So if let's say today you don't do anything, if at that time I can buy on my own, ah, the down payment is five half a million which I don't have. I will take back one point two million. But today. You have to know that I don't have so much money at that time. I started buying a commercial property with my two friends, and we each put in about 170 over thousand, and we took back the other by three. Each of us we take about 400 thousand. Okay, so he's talking about his co commercial property investment. In fact, he I think he buy even more buy more commercial property in Singapore than than residential. That's one thing is because there's no ABSD. In fact, I was also very interested because I only have one residential property and I'm considering if I should invest in commercial. So he's a 90% honest, huh? much more than property agent and, and he might still be biased over a certain area. For example, he got into an argument with another property YouTuber. Let's see what he said um, about UK property as an investment. You are getting sing dollar of 525,700. That means you have made 46,800. Yay! In summary, you make 46,800 sing dollars from three properties, each making you 15.6,000 in three years. And not to forget, guys, the down payment was 478,000. That means only make 3.3% 3 .3 per annum. Sorry, I need to remove the cow makeup uh, because I cannot find a filter with a crying clown. <laughs> okay, so these are the guys that got into the argument with Eric and, and they are rebutting what he said in that video. And, and let's hear what they said about um, UK properties. Here are my numbers. It's not too bad, right? So what I have here is actually my loan documents. You can see I got 80% loan and actually I only took an interest only loan. That whole my interest payable per month is 675. So why do I take interest only loan? It's because that will actually give me a much higher positive cash flow. So in the RI operator over here, we can see that I actually got a 300 over pounds per month in positive cash flow. Therefore, with this, total profits on cash flow alone it adds up to about 11 over thousand pounds we today if i were to sell the market i very confident i'm able to get a 40 thousand pounds in terms of capital appreciation after minus up all my expenses i still have a ROI of 11.52 percent eric got it so wrong the ROI is not 3.3 percent he got the stand duty wrong he got the capital gain tax wrong and in fact i even factored in additional expenses such as financing fee legal fees and guess what the ROI is still at 11. okay so let me pause here because they are claiming that you analyze is 11 percent when eric says three percent so let's take the middle lah. let's say if seven percent which is not bad, but still not great for the, for the same reasons I said earlier. It's not worth that time and effort for an overseas investment. But they also stated here, here that the ROI will be actually higher if you hold longer than five years, 
which is their strategy. And uh, but then they say more than five years. I don't know how long uh, is it. Two hundred years because a lot of the properties there is freehold or nine hundred ninety nine. And then you must remember, UK also got inheritance tax, so you can't hold forever, lah. Uh. So the thing is, right, the two YouTubers, right, they have different strategies. So so Eric focus only on private condo, not even EC and HDB, and and his strategy is for short. Term. So like three years you sell, buy a better one, and then three years sell, and then for this I quadrant they 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 cover many different types of properties, commercial, industrial, you know, overseas, and holding short or long term. So to conclude, I I recommend watching some of Eric's because he's funny with his um means comment on property very freely, um pretty honest but not totally, so so it's. It's different and it's definitely better than property agents. <laughs> Bye.